we have a, an apprentice master. He has got a literacy and numeracy test that he puts the guys through yeah, at interview. Every part of the truck's got a, a, a um, ECU in it, and it all, they all read different sensors. Communicates all the different signals together, mm -hmm. and if that's not right, they'll put up a fault. Say a sensor's not picking up, or a sensor yeah. says it's not working, you can go on there and um, make sure it's getting voltage. They're very electrical, these trucks, so go through all your settings, um, to find the right settings for the application. So you got to look at your wiring diagrams and you got to sort of follow circuits and see where things aren't working and see if where plugs are and fuses and things like that. So you got your relays for your headlights, say, I don't know, your headlights not working, so you check the power supply from the battery and you have to go either there or on the computer, get your settings, get the correct settings for it. Things are measured in power and you've got to um, make sure they're in between specs and things like that. This is your main control panel that you'll use to do the whole basic brake test. You control it all by this. So this is controlling the pump and um, the way that they're spinning all of that. The computer is just reading all the, capturing all the data and putting it on the screen for you to read. This is asking you now how many axles there is on the truck. Because we can get tri drives, we can get all different types. So it's just asking me how many axles we're going to be doing. So, I'm going to start the test on the side that's braking harder than the side that's not. And then you've got an unbalanced load and it can start shaking and all sorts of stuff. This is showing the time period of there. And that's the force and the pressure of the brake stopping on the hydraulic roller. 